YouTube is Mike with Thousand Reptiles. This is vlog seven. So uh, I'm starting the vlog off with a snake. It just recently shed. When I produced it two or so years ago, I'm pretty sure it was the world's first. Um, uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is a pastel lesser GHI chocolate pos head albino. This past season, uh, I bred her to a GHI chocolate albino. Unfortunately, the it was a bad clutch, and the couple eggs that survived had deformed babies that didn't survive. Um, she's back up to about 2,100 grams already, so I do hope to repeat that breeding. And again, the ultimate goal would be super GHI, super chocolate, lessers, maybe even all of that with albino if she proves to be head albino. This week's uh, vlog is going to be a lot of turtles. Um, people have been asking to see more turtles, and I only got a few months left before turtles go to hibernation. So I did a lot of turtle stuff this week, um, and not a lot of snake stuff. But I do have some uh, some more babies to show off at the end. So I haven't shown the turtle the turtle habitats off in the vlog for a little while now. So I figured I'd show you some turtles from the turtle habitats. So I haven't got a lot of turtle footage for the vlog, and we're finally getting a tiny bit of sun here in Maryland. So I figured I'd show a little bit off. And I was out here, and I see my Gulf Coast. So, let's see. On top there, that's my big white-faced male. And he is trying to court that female below him. Obviously, they're not breeding right now, but he's uh, trying to convince, convince her, I guess, you could say. But he's probably one of my bigger males. I love leaving the... And then I looked over here, and I could see there's a, I think that's the other big male. And then in here, this is the smallest actually turtle that I have in here. This guy. So this is the two turtles trying to breed. And here is, that's the biggest of the three-year-olds, which I'm pretty sure is a male. Um, let's see the paws. see. Good shot of a white-faced male. And then, I saw this. Got some breeding going on. So that's my other male. And uh, one of my females. And that is Gulf Coast Box Turtle Breed. That's my young male in the background. It's a beautiful morning here in Maryland after a lot of rain. And the turtles are out. There is another of the young females. There's my big female. I don't know if you can see her back in there. He can't oh clothes on this guy. Alright, so this here is the eastern box in the North American wood enclosure. Again, it's the end of the season, so it's red or green still, but stuff is starting to uh, I guess fade away. And uh, I happen to just see one of the oh, my shadow. That's one of the North American whoops, one of the North American woods. That is the bigger of the two that are in the big enclosure. There's one of my adult males hanging out in the shade down here. And then I saw one of the two-year-olds over here sunning herself or himself right there. So there. So the bad news, my other two-year-old, which was even bigger than her, was fine, eaten, exploring, and I come out one day and he's laying there dead and I have no idea what happened? Every other turtle was perfectly fine. So 
I have no clue why. He seemed healthy, big, active, eating up until the day I found him dead. So he had no idea. Um, and then I let one of my one-year-old baby Easterns in, uh, loose in here, and I've never seen it since then. So I'm not sure if it escaped or once it gets bigger, if it will show up. Here are a couple adult females. So this girl I don't, I never, sorry. This girl I never actually got eggs from this year, so she laid them, I never saw them. She's been getting bread like crazy. This morning she was getting bread. This girl laid two eggs for me, but only one of them still looks good. I did something different with my egg incubation this year, and I think I messed that up. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any baby box turtles this year. We'll see. Here is another male. That's the smaller male. But he has no problem breathing. He is the one breathing this morning. And there is the last of the Eastern boxes. She has, she has red eyes. She is a female. She gave me three eggs, I think, this year, four eggs. And she's hiding right there. So I think the only one I couldn't find for you guys today was the smaller of the North American woods. And maybe one or two of the Gulf Coast box turtles. Here's the Easterns. Males courting her. Males are always bite on them like that. He's not breathing yet, but he sure is trying. All right, so um, hope you enjoyed all the turtle stuff. Uh, I'm going to end it with some baby snakes. This, these are from a lesser clown bred to a VPI Xanthic. Um, I will try to show those off at the end. I hit amazing odds. I literally hit on, um, I think it's six lessers and only one normal. And everything in here is 100% double het VPI Xanthic and clown. So again, I hit on, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, six lessers and one normal. And lessers are the best I could hit on in this clutch, is a lesser, 100% double het, uh, VPI, Exanthic, and clown. So my ultimate goal for the project, I probably hold back a male and a female of the lessers. Um, if that normal is a female, I'll probably hold it back. And I know lesser to lesser makes blue-eyed leucistic, but, uh, I'm willing to take the chance when the time comes. I also, this year, am trying to work some black pastel, pastel, and spider into this double head program. So these guys may breed to someone else in the future. But very cool. Um, Dad's actually in with a girl. He's not breeding, so I'll show him off real fast. Here's Dad. Lesser clown. He's got a cool paradox. Oh, yeah, he's got this dark paradox. I always think it's dirt, but it's actually a paradox spot on him. Dad's a lesser clown, and mom is a VPI Exantic. She looks like she might be going in the shed because she's starting to get a little brown. They do brown out as they get older, the VPI Exantics, but she, when she sheds, she's a lot more silver. So that's mom. All right, so these are, and this one is feisty right now. <laughs> um, these are the ones that have shed so far. Oh, don't bite each other. Stop, buddy. Sorry. So these are the ones that have shed um, from the double het albino clown whoop, clutch. Uh, sorry, the GHA chocolate albino to the double head, and they were looking really nice. Only these four have shed. This one right here, I think, is a pastel, sorry my right hand is a pastel GHI double head, possible chocolate in there too, and then I think that both of these GHIs might be GHI chocolates that are um, double head albino and clown, sorry this guy's feisty so I'm holding them away this one looks more chocolate than that one though, and then this guy here is whoop, <laughs> is um, 
I think it's just a pastel, but it might be a pastel chocolate double head. So I figured they all shed for this week's vlog. I'd show them off. They are feisty. <laughs> all right. Thousand Reptiles out.